Hey everyone, how's it going? Coming to y'all with another unboxing. I'm sorry if it's loud in here. Uh, it's summertime in Texas and it's hot as hell. So there's fans running, there's ACs running. There's a whole lot of, a lot of cooling off going on. But have a package from Amazon, have a package from eBay. Gotta go ahead and open them both up. I know what this is. I'm, I think I know what this is, but I'm not 100% sure. But let's just go ahead and open this one up first. Uh, EDC today is this San Ren Moo model 9202 in the Coyote Brown. Fantastic knife, by the way. Okay, yeah, this, so this is one of the two SOGs that I ordered. So it looks like this is the old Fusion version of the Salute. Now, why would I buy such an older version of a knife? Because I plan to do a review on the SOG Salute, and I think it's always nice to have older versions and newer versions uh, on standby for the review. You can see this one's well-loved. Uh, pretty jacked up edge on that I'll see if I can't get that fixed up blunted tip none of this was advertised by the seller so that's interesting so uh might have to reach out and tell him hey uh this knife is uh pretty jacked but I I should be able to get that fixed up if I just take it to the right person I don't have the equipment to fix it myself but I know some folks who might Some blade play in there but it's an old knife what do you expect feels good in the hand though like a little bit of a hot spot down here should be interesting to see how this stacks up against the modern version so that's the sog fusion salute kind of a bonus i wasn't planning on that to come in today but you know came in early this is the real uh the real surprise what i'm really excited for i talked about this in my last unboxing this should be yep kaiser Kaiser Vanguard Infinity. My first experience with the brand. A shout out to Wasted Beer Money, by the way, for doing his own video on this knife, and it kind of helped me decide for sure that this is the one that I wanted to get. I was choosing between this, the Sencut Scepter, and the Civivi Elementum. Ooh, I love that micarta handle. Uh, I've long said micarta is my favorite handle material on a knife. Knocking my tripod over here. I've long said, though, that it's my favorite handle material on a knife, and uh, back in the day, it wasn't a very commonly used material. So it's nice to see uh, more companies using it. Let's check out this action. Oh my god. Flies out. Look at that. Look at that ball bearing action on that. That is... That is amazing. Just glass on glass. Gorgeous. Centering seems pretty good. Good texture on that micarta handle. Love micarta as a handle material. Blade steel on this is N690, which is a personal favorite of mine. I love N690 a lot. It's one of my preferred stainless steels. No play up and down, no play side to side. Jimping is not the most functional, but that's fine. Bit of a hot spot back here on that pocket clip. But all in all, that is a really nice flipper design knife. Got a very strong detent on it. Definitely satisfied with my choice. I will still get the Sencut Scepter and the Civivi Elementum actually uh, sooner than you might expect. They've both been ordered thanks to some support from some friends and uh, a loving wife who supports my hobby despite everything going on. Obviously her medical situation comes first, but whenever we have any extra money, uh, she's always very kind as to say that we can allocate it to the channel. So very supportive, very sweet wife who helps make uh, my return to the scene very possible. Now this one was actually obtained by me selling uh, a few items from a few of my other hobbies, and that's all right, you know? I don't need to collect 70,000 things. And I can honestly say getting this in hand, I have no regrets. Beautiful knife. I can definitely tell you between the two knives that came in today, the uh, Kaiser is my preferred knife. But this does have a, a pretty solid feel overall. Just has a really, really dicked up edge. Let's see if I can get this to focus. I have a hard time getting this camera to focus. Maybe it's the white background. I don't seem to have problems against the blue background. You can kind of see how, how dicked up that edge is. 
but yeah that's been my double unboxing i will try to do unboxings every time a knife comes in the mail from now on because people seem to enjoy them and at least it's some kind of content definitely definitely don't regret the purchase on this one i mean 60 bucks admittedly i do wish their red micarta was a, a standard flipper design i would have chosen it but it was a front flipper i don't really like front flippers all that much but that said this is still a, a really nice really attractive little knife so yeah hope you guys enjoyed i'll see y'all next time peace and take care